Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Rubicon's 156 scale uh, Tiger 2 full interior kit. Now this follows on to our other ones we've been looking at here. So we've already done the review on the Huey and we've got some other reviews coming along as well. So these technically are gaming uh, kits as well. So they're using for war gaming, but obviously you can use them as standalone. And to be honest, for the price as well, I think these are absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look, see what we've got in the box. So as always, We've got to have a quick run around the box and all the rest of it. As you can see, we've got full interior detail right in here. And somebody who a few years ago now built the uh, 35th scale uh, full interior King Tiger. Damn, it almost killed me. So it'd be nice to do one that's a little bit easier to go together. Uh, but as you can see, lovely details, nice markings down in here as well. So just running around on the box, we've got a few bits down in here. So your kit number for this one, if I can get it, it's 280100. All right. So on here, we do even get photo etch parts, I do believe, with this one. If that will sit there, it does. So as always, we'll start up here with the old instructions. As you can see, we've got decals with all your numbering options you could actually need. All right. So starting off with, obviously, we've got all the road wheels going in. We've got the drive sprockets and the idler, things like that, right the way through. And then obviously, we've got all the track system, which is sort of the link and length way of doing it, goes in there just like that. And then again, mirror for the other side. So it gets your tracks out of the way nice and early. Then obviously, we've got a lower hull going in there. That's nice. One piece interior detail going in. So you can paint that up as you go all right so that's all of those in then we've got the rear with the exhaust on there we've got the rear mud flaps the jacks the various bits and pieces going down at the rear so that's one's all fitted in then it's onto the upper hull so obviously we've got the driver's hatch uh, and the uh, co-driver at the front and then obviously down in here we've obviously got the rear ones for the covers all being fitted over the cooling system and things like that really nice touch with this one we get a chunk of pe as well so we've got photo etch grills going to cover up those rear radiators down in there then we've got the collar being fitted onto the ring down in there and then we've got more photo etch putting all the other grill tops down in there just like that it does talk about opening up some holes so check your references for which versions you're actually doing same on the side as well so we can do all the storage system and it's got the zimmer it all on the side all drilled out ready to go on as well so you can pack all of that one in and then obviously we've got the side uh, sort of skirts going onto it as well. So fitting all of those down in the side again, maybe some tabs and doing if you're doing it you know, with the actual mud guards on or off, things like that down in there. Then back to the interior. So we're up into the turret and we're doing the breach for the main gun, uh, fitting all of those in there. We do get figures as well. So we've obviously got the driver, we've got the gunner, we've got the radio operator, we've got a loader and commander as well down in there. Then we've got the engine system being fitted into this one. So again, nice detailed engine, a few pieces around the uh, upper, sorry, the upper hull inside area being fitted down in there. Then we've got all the ammunition racks, the various bits and pieces, the points around the engine at the rear, all of those being fitted into it and then obviously right the way over to pop in all the drivers in there everything else getting the engine installed and away you go up in the turret as well more racks being fitted you see fully detailed up here at the top and then the last of the gun parts all being fitted in there more ammunition going in that top turret down the back so all of those being fitted in there then on the outside so we've got the extra plates being fitted down in there and then obviously more zimmerit going onto the sides and obviously we've got the, the mantle all those different areas the gun commander being fitted in there and then bringing both halves together and last up your little lower zimmerit onto the bottom of the forward hull all right and then right the way through it looks like you get both ones down here you get the porsche turret and you get the other one as well which i can't remember which one it is so we've got the early turret down in there so again you can be popping both of those on there as you want to markings for these ones obviously talking about a little bit of detail down in here we've got the green over the tan as well so you can do that one and all the other bits of armor they actually do so we've got some nice ones down in here we've got your panthers your stugs as you might imagine as well we've got your early tiger ones we've got jag panthers I think Panzer IVs down in here. Again, lots and lots of different ones all the way through here. And again, I know they do Shermans and various things as well. So again, very, very nice indeed. As you can see, great thing about this is with all your decals, you can make up any numbering options you want with it as well. So you've got a little bit of a, a tank brigade going on there for go. You can mark those all as required. Right, so in the box, we'll just start at the top and work our way down. We've got that lovely bit of photo etch, which we'll have a look at first. All right, so as you can see, nice bit of photo etch with those grills. 
very, very nice indeed, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the next part just down in here. So we've got various radiators, cooling, we've got the rears, the various parts for the engine, making up the engine. Again, great detail all the way through. Look at some of the radio gear down here at the front as well. So very, very nice. Shells all nicely done, all pre-done on the racks as well. So that's very nice. And again, all the ejector pins either flush or just slightly recessed and they're all tucked out of the way as well. So that's very, very nice indeed. Okay, up here we've got both types of turret. To be honest with you, I can't remember. The one with a slight bulge on the side, is that the Porsche one? I don't know, I can't remember now. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, some really very, very fine details down in here. Looking absolutely fantastic. You see those turrets with the zimmer on the side? Well, we've obviously got lots of details to add on to this, but they do look very nice. So we've got the zimmer down here on the fronts. And then on the rears, all fully coated. On the sides, we've got the mantle done as well. Side skirts looking very, very nice as well. So that's the gun obviously on the breech. And again, really nice. Up on the inside, there's a couple of ejector pins dotted around in here. But to be honest, I think by the time you get all the equipment inside it, you're not going to notice any of that at all. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Then obviously we've got another turret. So we've got three turrets down in here, and this one is without the Zimmerit coating all the way over it. So we've got the gun breech, lots of different ones, different types of barrels down in here as well. So there's so much, much going on with these. It's really, really very nice indeed. So we start up here, the various ones, the racks for inside the turret. There's another turret looking very nice indeed. We've got those barrels with the different brakes on them as well. Again, very, very nice indeed. Good, clean, sharp molding all the way around on these. So yeah, they look a little bit oily, but I can't actually feel it. So, but it may be worth, to be honest with you, giving these a bit of a wash in some soapy warm water and then let them naturally dry off. There may be a little bit of a loose agent on them, but that's no biggie. All right, so top and lower holes down in this one, as we can see, and we've got some of the figures as well. So yeah, very, very nice. We start up here. You can see some nice details all the way through. Even on the bottom of the lower hull, we've got the escape hatches and things underneath here as well. Some of the towing eyes and equipment, various things, drive sprockets, road wheels, mud flaps, crew standing crew and seated crew and again nice details with those so very very nice indeed two screws left big screws on this one big old kit and again this is very nice so down in here as you can see we've got all the interior details all the various parts going down in here so if we start at the top here or over here we've got front end without the zimmerit coating down in here so we've got options if you want to zimmer it or not by the looks of it We've got side skirts. We've got all the road wheels, torsion suspension system. You can see very nicely done there on the blind side. And then down in here, we've got the rear. We've got uh, driving figure, I assume, probably commander or something stood up. All the various things. And there's the nice bit, all the interior detail, which I slaved away doing each individual one underneath in here, all done in one. What a really nice way of doing it. Should be a very fun build. We've got the exhaust down here at the back, which are very nice. Got a small amount of hollowing them as well. Very good. Last up, we've got the tracks and all the road wheels. So as you can see, we've got your tracks, all the road wheels, bits and pieces, lots of stuff going on down in here. So again, spare links and individual for the plates, we've got the road wheels. These are the metal road wheels, I do believe on these. All the way through. Very nice, lots of those you might imagine. And then the tracks, so we've got the idler just on the back there. And then the tracks right the way through and more individuals at the front, which are, I think, slightly curved as well. The wrapping around the actual drive sprocket 
and the idler as well. So that's actually very, very nice. And then again, on the inside, we're not plagued by a million sticking up or anything else like that. Um, eject bins, there is a few obviously running down there, but they're nice and flush. And I don't think by the time you've got the weathering on there, you'd even notice those at all. So yeah, really very, very nice. I must admit, this is one of those ones where I've really got an itch to scratch by building one of these because I think they look really fun builds to do. It's not overly complicated. There's not a ton of stuff, but you've still got a load of detail, which is something that obviously sometimes the 72nd scale kits and even 48 kits can fall apart with because they don't have that full level of detail into it. But again, these are gaming type ones, but at the end of the day, I think they'll make fantastic model kits as well for just the normal modeler. So again, very, very nice. Don't forget, we've done obviously a review already on the Huey as well, so you can go off and see that one. And to follow up, as well we're going to be doing the jeep and we've got a bow poles gun to have a look at as well